Imagine you take an average car payment of 350 bucks per month, ditch the car and its payment, replace it with a paid for used car, and instead invest that 350 bucks a month for the entirety of your working career. At the S&P index average rate of return, by the time you retire, you would have a three and a half million dollar nest egg to pass on to your children, which invested at a modest 5% interest rate would give you a retirement income of 3,500 bucks every week. Three and a half million dollar nest egg, $3,500 weekly interest paycheck. That is the opportunity cost of a car payment. Now what if I told you that you could retire with this three and a half million in the bank without having to invest a dime more than you already are? The typical American is forced to invest an average of 350 bucks a month into a government retirement account. But instead of retiring with a three and a half million dollar nest egg and 3,500 a week in income, they instead retire with zero nest egg and an average of 300 bucks a week in retirement income. Same contribution, different result. Social Security is the largest government program in the world. With those kind of results, why haven't we fired the government as our retirement planner? Brought to you by Inception House. Propagating ideas.